Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja and I wanted to welcome you back to another edition of your Adrenal Fix. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about why it's great that your blood tests are normal when you suffer with an adrenal fatigue problem. Say what? What do you mean? Um, I'm, I, it's terrible. Um, I feel awful, I have no energy, I can't focus, I crash in the middle of the day. When I wake up, I feel like I can go to bed and haven't even slept a wink. Um, I, I, I'm wired and tired at night. I don't handle stressors the same way. And, and besides which, the doctors say there's no such thing as adrenal fatigue and maybe I need to go on an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety medication. And when I go to the doctor, he says my blood tests are normal. And I'm the first person to say your blood tests aren't normal and, and they're functionally outside of the healthy ranges. And just because you're not sicker than the average sick person doesn't mean that you're super healthy. So why am I doing this about change and saying it's great that your blood tests are normal? Well, I'll tell you why. The reason is, is because I, um, number one, just learned of a, of a good friend of mine or a fr acquaintance that I know that is in hospice right now um, because uh, a while ago they had found um, a brain um, tumor. And so, you know, it's great that your blood tests are normal because you don't have a brain tumor or it's great that your blood tests are normal because you don't have a major problem. And I learned this from actually just recently listening to Dr. Ben Lynch's um, Dirty Gene Summit. And Dr. Tom O'Brien, he is the, um, the gluten doctor, and he was talking about how he sees people that have been to the Mayo Clinic, have been to um, other, other, you know, Major Sloan Kettering or Joe DiMaggio, and, and they come with stacks and stacks of paperwork, and they're told that their blood tests are normal. And he says, that's excellent news. That's great news. And they look at him like, you're, they're crazy. You're crazy. Why is that excellent news? It's excellent news because we know you don't have a major a major red flag is really what it is. And so um, that means, number two, to count your blessings and, and be careful what, you're, what you wish for. Meaning like you don't wish that they would tell you that there's a major red flag or that they would tell you that there's something major going on so you could finally have answers. Yes, we wanna have answers, but we wanna have answers that are, are doable. And so you need to be really grateful for the fact that your blood tests are normal or that you're told there's no such thing as adrenal fatigue and you don't have anything on your blood test. You need to be grateful for that. And I don't know if a lot of you are, and I know it's hard to say, well, I'm grateful. How could I be grateful? I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Um, doctors tell me there's nothing wrong with me. Doctors don't understand me. They think that I'm making it up. They think that all I do is sit in front of the fridge all day and eat as much food and that I'm lazy and that I'm not motivated and that I'm a basket case. Um, that may be true if they think that, but um, you still need to be grateful that your blood tests are normal because you could be in hospice. Um, number two, um, the other thing that I thought was pretty amazing from Dr. Tom O'Brien is now he gets them um, into his clinic and he runs all these tests and he sees all these other findings now that no one's ever seen. I just did a organic test review, organic acid test review, and we see that ATP production slowing down, um, protein absorption is impacting um, the ability to make neurotransmitters, um, there's some B vitamin deficiencies. Um, there's a lot of C. diff or candida overgrowth, and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> and I wasn't insensitive, but um, you know, it, it, you know, on the other hand, you know, patients are like, what do you mean this is great when when you're telling me that I have all this stuff going on? It's well, we finally have some answers, and so um, it it comes down to how you choose to look at things, and it comes down to using your mind to realize that you have a lot of great gr gratitudes. To be, to be grateful for and, and you need to celebrate more often because at the end of the day, um, that's what it's about. That's what life is about. Life is about being with loved ones. And let me ask you this, this is while we're talking about this. And I said, let me ask the adrenal fatigue grasshoppers. Let me ask them, when was the last time that they were really happy? And when was the last time that they smiled? And when was that last time that they felt and allowed themselves to feel joy? Um, and, and I would ask you to say and, and look in the mirror and say that you are worthy and that you are deserving and that you love yourself because those are and, and that you're happy, even if you don't believe it, because your body and your mind doesn't know the difference. 
uh, or your, your, you know, than, than, than your thought processes. And you can decide you're miserable and your body will say okay. And you can pretend that you're happy, but you gotta feel that emotion. And that comes a lot of times with being grateful and being super appreciative of what you have and, and, you, and, and looking at all the things you have, all the blessings and the gratitudes and all the things that you're really, really happy for. So be happy that, you're great, that your blood tests are normal and, and be happy when you get blood tests back from a functional medicine doctor and they're not normal um, because either way, um, it's all about being happy and, and, and allowing yourself to be happy. And the other thing I would say too is lastly, um, you know, maybe you don't realize this, but my guess is it happens more than you realize, is, is that um, you don't give yourself permission to be healthy. And so you need to look into the mirror and tell yourself, I give myself permission to be healthy. I am doing everything I can to be healthy. Um, you know, I am, I am, every day I wake up, I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. I am, you know, and be happy and, and take time to smell the roses and, 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 and hug your kids and, and, and your spouse and, 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 and be grateful for what you have. So anyways, it's a little bit of a tangent, um, but I felt it was necessary and um, I hope you get some value out of this one. Um, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja and I look forward to helping you end your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.